member in the GOP field. Many people. No, I like the Pope. A lot of, lot of personality. Good man. Good man. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name is Helena Sorensen, and uh, I have a house here in Hampton. Good. I've worked very hard all my life. Good. My parents came over uh, during the Berlin airlift in March of 1950. When they landed, they both had to work in the mills. My father became a carpenter, put us through school, and here we are, working hard, getting Social Security. But my problem is that the people that are coming over here, they're landing on the shore, they have no problem going in, they get food stamps, they get housing, they get electric, they get all of this, and it's coming from our Social Security money. I know. And we're getting nothing, nothing. She's getting more and more excited. Look at that. And Carly Figueroa. Yeah, you're right. Carly Figueroa, I uh, watched well, her I debate tell, yesterday. I tell people. She put our company, Lucent Technology, Go ahead. in the ground. Carly Figueroa, we why? Say it retire. again, because people might as well hear it. I mean, people have to learn. I thought I'd wait a couple of days before I expose her business failure. But honestly, it's so ridiculous. Go ahead, tell me. Our stock, I, I invested in my stock. I worked for the company for 37 years. And that was, was Lucent. forced to retire. Lucent. Yes, Lucent. And headed up by who? Well, Carly. That's right. Okay, Carly. That was before Hewlett Packard. Before Hewlett Packard, well, I was buying stock to put into my retirement at $87 a share. When I was forced to retire almost 15, 16 years ago, my stock wasn't worth 25 cents. I lost almost a half a million dollars. That's what I planned on retiring, and I got nothing. Yeah. Well, you know, the Carly thing is sort of amazing because a lot of people don't get it because Lucent was a disaster you know yes Lucent was a company that she ran prior to Hewlett Packard when she bought Compaq uh, she was heading up Hewlett Packard for a while a little while very short while and then made the decision to buy Compaq Compaq computer I guess and people that work there said that company was such a great company until she got involved and until she went out and she made this horrible acquisition and it just has destroyed the company, Hewlett Packard. In fact, yesterday on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, big story, main story, that Hewlett Packard, that they're dropping about, what, 30,000 jobs now. They're still recovering. They may never, who knows if they're ever going to recover. But, and then she's, everyone's saying she made a good speech yesterday. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But at some point, people are going to see, and I think it's going to be a very big roadblock, you know. Now, when you look at Trump, Okay, Trump. I built an unbelievable company, tremendous company, tremendous net worth, which I don't want to talk about other than to say it's the kind of mentality you need in this country, at least for a period of time. At least. And, and you know, as a businessman, I help Democrats, I help Republicans, I helped whoever because I want to be, I did everything. I used all of the laws of the land. I'd buy a company, I'd throw it into a chapter, I'd chapter it, you bankrupt it, you beat the hell out of the banks. That's like I was a businessman, I have to do that. And by the way, you have many people in my position where they do the same thing, but nobody talks about it. I mean, I'll give you a list of names. 